Conference of South Georgia, and it is to our folks out to the north of us that we're really going to focus on. The warnings are there, but we also have tropical storm watches along the east coast, and that goes from Bernina Beach all the way northward. Tropical storm watches right there from Brunswick, all the way through Brunswick, Georgia, an indication that they could see winds over 40 miles an hour. And in the locations, and that's way across Georgia, could see those winds over 40 miles an hour as well. Tallahassee likely to see hurricane force wind gusts. And again, we'll go through the details of the wind max, but let's just break it down for you. If you live in Georgia along the coastal areas, and this is I-95, whether you're in Waverly or Woodbine or down there towards St. Mary's or inland towards Oh, getting all the way back out there, folks. And this you guys is are with strong winds along the coast October 9th, 2018. Jacksonville, Florida, County. talking and about Hurricane down, Michael Savannah. on the, the news. Some flooding and the purple here again, some indications that the heavy surf will be along the coast as well. Southeasterly winds for you folks in Georgia, and again, right there from Kingsland all the way back up to Brunswick, up to 45 miles an hour. This will take place 4 p.m. Again, early and then Florida time, Eastern Thursday, time, East Coast time. Tides will run up there, and again, water spouts will be a possibility as well. And that's all going to take place in those inland areas of or coastal areas of Georgia, inland areas. I'll break that down coming up here at 5 o'clock. But, Tark, it is the coastal areas that are getting the rains now from Brunswick all the way back out towards Wake Cross. John, thank you. Members of the Coast Guard are preparing for Michael. We've got some new video you're looking at there at Coast Guard Station Yankee Town. This is in Levy County. They're stocked up on supplies and they are sandbagging their building there. Governor Rick Scott has been holding news briefings throughout most of the day. He says everyone needs to be prepared and take the storm serious. Let me be clear. Michael is a this is Jake Locksmith Service, Jacksonville, Florida, October 9, 2018, watching the news about Hurricane Michael in Jacksonville, Florida, seeing how bad it's going to be. I know Jacksonville is going to get a lot of rain and wind. Right now, the hurricane will be 300 miles from Jacksonville, Florida. Either Apple or Android store. All right, coming up at 5 o'clock, Vic Michalucci is going to join us live from the Florida Panhandle, where they've already seen some effects of Michael. Plus, schools have been canceled in Columbia County. Shelters are opening. We are live there. Then at 5 o'clock, we'll take you to a local marina that's been moving boats out of the water all day long. All right, let's get back to that traffic alert we told you about at the top of the newscast. Northbound lanes of Interstate 95 near 8th Street. They remain shut down after a fuel leak. Now, it happened around 2 o'clock this afternoon after a car and a tanker collided. A hazmat team was called in to help clean up the spill. State environmental authorities have been notified. There are no reports of injuries. But look at the photos from JFRD showing the leak. Right now, it's not clear when those lanes are going to reopen. Authorities, though, are diverting traffic off of I-95 and onto the 8th Street exit ramp, so expect delays there. And here's a traffic alert on I-295. This is north at Pritchard Road, a crash involving a tractor trailer. The lanes are open, but as you can see, there is moving slowly, and there are plenty of onlooker delays. On to election 2018. Today's the deadline to register to vote. The Florida Democratic Party has filed a lawsuit to extend the deadline to vote due to the storm. The Florida Department of State sent out this memo. It says if your supervisor of elections office is closed today, you can register on paper on the day that it does reopen. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding shows us how to get it done. Registering to vote online is the most convenient, but if you live in the path of Hurricane Michael, it is now your only option. One of the big challenges, though, will be to carve out time to make this happen while also making preparations. Time is running out if you want to make sure your voice is heard in the 2018 general election. And that's something Sheila Oldham takes to heart. Most of the young people here today don't realize how important it is to be involved in the voting process. For most Floridians, you can still head to your county supervisor of elections office to register today. No doubt about it, the easiest way to register to vote is to do it online. Just head over to register to vote florida.gov, click to register, and it takes you through the process step Jake by Jake Smith Services, Jacksonville, Florida. To register online, you will need October 9th, 2018, Tuesday. Tuesday. If you don't have any of these, you can still 
4.07 p.m.